Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon, a farewell to arms. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to beat the Gunslinger's Past. Now, this has got to be one of the hardest achievements in the entire game. Probably harder than the Advanced Dragon from the uh, AG and D update. It is really, really tough. And actually, completing this will do uh, one thing for you. Unlock the Gunslinger as a playable character, selectable in the Breach. Now, in my previous video on how to unlock the Gunslinger, that is technically how to play as him. You will get to play as him for that run. But if you don't beat his past in that run, you can't select him from the breach, which was something I didn't know at the time. And I do apologize for any uh, confusion that caused. But this is going to be a uh, tips and tricks video on how to actually beat that past and unlock him for good. Now, there's a lot of things that come into play with this. For one, I'll actually describe what the challenge is. So basically, once you kill uh, pa the Lich's Paradox, you spawn as the Gunslinger. And then once you've done this, you have to actually beat the Gunslinger's past on that run there. There's, you, you, you can pause and walk away for a while, but it has to be on that run. Uh, and obviously that's very difficult because it basically means you have to do back-to-back -back runs, which could easily mean that you're playing for two and a half hours. So first of all, big tip, set aside a lot of time. It takes a while. Uh, second thing is the actual challenge is that you have to beat the dragon and go to his past and then it'll take you to bullet hell without actually having gone to bullet hell. Go to his uh, past, use the, the, the um, gun that can kill the past and be spawned in bullet hell and then you've got to make your way all the way to the lich as I said and there'll be two of them. There'll be a normal lich as, as always and then there will also be like a spectral one that looks kind of like the paradox character that is jammed and so you have to fight two liches one jammed one not luckily you only have to fight the first phase which is a godsend because i don't know how you'd do it if it was all three phases but it is still very very difficult now on to some tips and tricks on how you're going to be getting here and beating it so in terms of getting there obviously uh, i highly suggest that you've done the lich many many times before you even attempt this if you've only done the lich once this is not going to be something that's achievable you might get it on a lucky run but it's going to be very very difficult for you so i very highly recommend recommend practicing the lich a bunch of times before you even go for this challenge it is very very difficult and then another thing is you, you need to know your synergies now if you didn't know the gunslinger's unique item unique ability the lich's eyes lets you gain all synergies for every gun and item you pick up as long as they are available to that gun um, and that is a very 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 powerful ability he is, he is by far the most powerful character in the game now um, and because of that you can get some really powerful items so it's very very highly advised to know your synergies because if you see an item in the shop and you know that that item has good synergies it's going to be well worth picking up a, a really good example of this is as you can see on my run here i get the gungeon ant and at, th at this time i didn't actually know what the uh, gunslinger uh, gunslinger's passive did i didn't know that it gave you all the synergies so i pick up the uh, gungeon ant thinking oh god the gungeon ant again what a terrible weapon and in fact it gives me three of the synergies that it has and i believe that's the all, all the ones it has one of those being the queen ant and the queen ant is actually one of the most powerful synergies in the game it turns the uh, gungeon ant into a rocket launcher that does very high dps and now with the reduced dps cap on bosses meaning bosses are a bit easier to kill with high DPS weapons, it, you can really notice the difference. It's uh, it, it's very, very nice. But that weapon was a godsend throughout this run. It really made the difference. So even though the weapons and items you get are going to be completely random chance, say things like shops, and even just if you t uh, find like a brown chest, there's some brown chest items that could really, really save you considering their synergies could be game-changingly uh, positive on that run. Uh, another thing as well is you want to try and load up on as many any blanks as possible now this may be a given like most people know it's easier to beat bosses if you have blanks but this guy you really need him because because there's two liches they can very easily crisscross their attacks and fire two of the same tack like in in sort of a sequence where it's very difficult to dodge now one of the liches attacks by default is already quite difficult to dodge it's the one way fires like multiple rings of shots that have shots intertwining between them it gives you just enough time to dodge between them and it's very very difficult to time that correctly and then imagine two of those coming in with like a half second delay between the both of them then you have no time to dodge at all so it's gonna be very difficult and you're gonna want to have at least i'd say at minimum you're gonna want to have five blanks if possible uh, that that seems highly advisable Another thing as well is, although this is maybe out of your control, it really just depends on the run you get, you, you, you just the run that you get, the items that you get, explosive weapons are highly recommended. Explosive weapons are going to give you the ability to basically shoot at him and 
destroy a lot of the incoming shots, and that could be really, really good. Uh, another few items that are, uh, are highly suggested, just like I said, it's, it's random chance if you get them, but if you get them, be happy with it. Any item that blocks bullets. So the decoy could be useful, even though it's got low health. Uh, the chicken is very good. The chicken flute is uh, a very good item for that. Um, one of the new items, I forget the name of it, it's uh, that little green ball that follows you that blocks bullets. Uh, and things along those lines, and that can be a real godsend for you. Even a very niche, very niche tip is if you get the directional pad, you can actually spawn a chest in and use the chest to block the bullets, because the enemy's bullets won't destroy the chest. And that is, uh, that's that's going to be a very niche tip, but it might help you out in, in certain uh, circumstances and situations. In terms of actually getting to bullet hell and get, uh, getting through the run, you're going to have a fairly easy time as long as you've beaten the Lich in the past because you are going to be getting many, many, many synergies and you should relatively stomp through most, uh, most of the flaws. Uh, as long as you get a few decent weapons, a few decent items that give you good synergies, then you should be alright. Uh, some other things to go over with the Lich, like I said, it's only the first phase, so try and practice the first phase as much as possible. You need to be able to highly anticipate all of his attacks. So we've got, I think it's, I think he has around four or five different attack patterns. We've got the one that I talked about where it's the um, pulses of rings of shots with shots intertwined between them. That one you're just going to be, you're going to be wanting to like pop a dodge left or right, not straight ahead, sort of up and to the left and you'll sort of weave between the shots rather than jumping straight into the next line. The other one is the wave pattern, sort of where he does the spiral of shots in sort of a wavy motion. That one's fairly easy, although when there's two of them obviously it becomes a bit harder. Just stick to the corners and stay as far back as you can. The other one is the uh, the like volley of bouncy shots in all directions. That's another one that's fairly easy, just keep your distance and you can usually dodge that fairly easily. He's also got the attack where he spawns his minions. This is one that's going to be a real problem, especially if both liches use this at the same time. You're going to be wanting to clear those adds as quickly as you can. Clear those minions, those little like uh, gravestone guys, just as fast as humanly possible because otherwise they are going to just shoot you from all directions and you're going to have a really bad time with it. Um, and yeah, from from there, basically, they're, they're the main tips I have. I know a few of them are circumstantial and it is going to be a really difficult challenge no matter what, but honestly, I just got a really lucky run. I actually beat, uh, beat this challenge on my first attempt. Uh, with the with the weapons that I had, but like I said, I, I, I got quite lucky. I got the the clone item, the new one, the uh, like active item that lets you clone yourself and fire more shots. That that was very very uh, good. I also had the void core rocket launcher. I think it's called void core launcher. That's very very useful as well. And obviously with the explosive damage from that, that really helped out. You're going to see a little bit of gameplay of that on screen now. Uh, and you just you've just got to keep your distance and keep blanking when shots come in, and just be aware um, of those of those jammed shots. If you're going to get hit, try and make sure that it's via the non-jammed lich. The, the, the unjammed shots are going to deal half the damage the jammed on would. So if you're in a compromising position and you think you're going to get hit, just dive into a non-jammed bullet rather than going into a jammed bullet. That's going to save you quite a lot. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to have had a decent amount of flawlesses as well, but that, that's a given for any Lich run. You want to try and get at least four, preferably, uh, or at least three and a health upgrade. It really depends, but you're going to want at least four health upgrades either way. Uh, I highly wouldn't recommend going to the new secret floor either, because you do have to give up a mass round in order to go there. Uh, but yeah, I know this was um, I know this was a, a bit of a longer video in terms of tutorials, and it is, it is difficult to give tips uh, in terms of items on a game where the items are randomized but they're the they're the tips that i've got and that's how i managed to beat him and yeah i hope this helps you and i'll see you guys in the next one